good morning. So what's this video about? Okay, so you were one of the guys who took up golf after the lockdown. Because that was the only thing you could do. You couldn't play football, you couldn't play rugby, you couldn't go to the gym even. So you took up golf with your mates. You had some basic lessons. Grip, stance, aim, posture. And you've even practiced. But you're still nowhere near breaking a hundred. Chances are it's because you and your mates are wailing away with these big things. Because your mate's doing it, you've got to do it. You can't be the first one to say, I'm going to put these in the cupboard for a little while. So I'm going to put together a bag of clubs for you today that will hopefully stop all of those penalty shots that you get in a round of golf. You're out of bounds, you lost ball. Water, sand, trees. So I got a basic bag here. Well, I've got everything in my bag as it happens. But my driving club today is going to be a hybrid. My longest iron today is going to be a six iron. We only take on a green like the first there if we're close enough. If we're further away, we don't want to go in the sand. We've got to get rid of all those penalty shots. And if you add up how many shots you lose in a round of golf to these long clubs, and think about what if I'd taken a hybrid off the tee, whether it be a three hybrid like mine or a four hybrid with 22 degrees. Go down your card at the end of a round and go, well, I dropped two shots there, I dropped two shots there, I dropped two shots there. Before you know it, you'll find that you've dropped 14 shots because of these things. The very first thing that becomes apparent when you restrict the size of your tee club is how much wider the world appears to be. Golf is one of those games where we thrive on confidence. So being able to hit a fairway surely helps our game. So I've got this on the ground early. So by playing short of the hazards, well, I'm not in the hazard. It's as simple as that. With a little practice, you can get it up and down. Well, that's a little confusing. With the help of the hard ground, that six iron went 190. So, um, under normal circumstances, I would obviously have been short of this green. Now, on the fourth, I personally have been struggling with driver. But with this in my hand, there's absolutely no pressure. And this is what it's about. It's taking the pressure off your game. And the same here. I don't want to go in the hazards. So we play an eight. And the ground is firm enough that I get it down there. It goes further than it really ought to. But you get the idea. Yeah, you need to sort out your chipping. Now the front edge of the bunker is just here. So as it happened, the eight iron was short of the green and it couldn't reach the bunker. I mean, how many times you go in a bunker and you take two or three to get out of it and the shot that gets out of it puts it the other side of the green. If I take the seven iron off that lie, something that would actually get into the heart of this green, I can reach that. If I take the six iron, because I wanted to attack the flag, well, with the ball below my feet with the six iron, who knows where that would have ended up. So we've made a very simple one, two, three, four. I need to do this in medals, don't you think? <laughs> I need to take my own damn lesson. 15.
And the other thing with putting loft in your hand is your mistakes aren't quite as bad. I've missed the fairway. But I'm not in the trees. I'm not wasting shots. Although, I will waste shots on this hole. That isn't the best sandwich I've ever hit in my life. And with this green being so fast at the moment, well, that's a little bit of a cock up. And I came within a whisker of four putting this because of the speed. I've never seen him this fast. Another shot where I am so relaxed because I can't get into any trouble with it. That's the great thing about putting loft in your hand. It is so much harder to get into trouble. That was a heavy, heavy shot. We come up short. And another green that beats me on speed. But you can see the point of all this. I'm not going out of bounds. It would be very difficult to hit a hybrid out of bounds. Some nasty bunkers up here, so we're just playing for the front edge. Unfortunately, yet again, the firm ground has got me onto the green. But at least this time, I might actually be learning how to lag properly. And I'll say it again, you drop tons of shots because you're wailing away with the driver. And this video is all about avoiding all of those times where you're dropping lots of shots because you're using your driver. So the reason I took 7-iron there was there's a ditch down the left hand side that I'm worried about. And the other reason for hitting 7-iron is if I did squirt it right, as I just did, I'm far enough back that it's dipped under the tree. It hasn't hit the tree. If I tried my hybrid or my six iron, I might have made a cock up. Now I'm not suggesting that you should make up your bag exactly like mine, or that you, you should keep laying back from the green like I am doing. This is just a demonstration. It's up to you to figure out what you can do better and get rid of all of those doubles right this will be the last hole I do firstly I want you to ignore my scores I'm a five handicap I've got a decent short game I'm gonna make some pars but I'm not making doubles I've still got the same damn ball I haven't been in the sand, I haven't been in the water. So if you you know if you're a bunch of guys who started golf perhaps after the first lockdown, you're shooting 110, 115, you're wailing away with the driver, and don't forget I go to the driving range, I see you guys hitting a hundred drivers. You're not learning anything, you're not getting better. But if you're hitting driver, you're hitting it all over the planet. You're losing three of these around. Just look at your card at the end of the round. Just tick off the places where you've added shots to your score because of long clubs. All right, you're going to drop shots because your short game isn't sharp yet. But the shots that really hurt the most are those drivers where you never see the ball again. So have the courage to take those clubs out of your bag. Take out the 4-iron and the 5-iron as well, perhaps. Make the 6-iron your longest iron. Stay away from hazards. You know, look at a green and go, Oh, I don't want to be in there. So play short of it. Alright, the hard ground today has uh, mean that I haven't been short of some of them, but 
That's life, Jim. And if your mates rip you up for having a hybrid in your bag as your longest club, you just tell them, Simon told me, go spank the ladyboy. See, even injured, I can hit this thing. If I was hitting driver right now, I'd be running up a very big number. Cheerio!